Ah, yes. That's a poo. That's a poo. That's a poo. Eru nefer. Eru nefer. Beautiful day. We're going to be getting into our adumbration shortly. Looking forward to moving with you. So glad you're joining us on this auspicious day. So we're going to our adumbration. We're going to start with Shyasha as usual. Get into the all over body check in. After the all over body check in, we'll get to some massage stance and qigong. We'll do the lunar cycle because we're a couple of days out from the new moon, and then we'll get into the short form, and that'll probably be how we go at the class today. I know many of you, if this is your first time with us, you can please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell so you can get the notifications each time we have a new video uploaded sharing our tools and skills from the Kemetic Ahan Sama Association. We are doing some quick minute breathing exercises that are coming up now. So we're putting those up for you. So in the event that you're in places that may be high tension or high energy, lots of passion, and you want to return to your full self, we have some tools for you to practice and work with and they're on our YouTube, which hopefully is where you are now. Thank you. So that's what we got planned for today. So hopefully you're feeling good. I'm feeling good. It was a joy seeing family, you know, indoors for the first time, sharing a meal for us. First time since 2019. So feeling kind of good visiting with family and so family and relatives so let's get let's get it in you know let's uh let's get it in all right shiasha well the african indian asian chinese native american and pacific islander masters that have gone before us and back Teacher the student, student the teacher. All right, now let's get it in. We'll start with our all over body check in. We'll do it standing. Hands up. Lift the weight. Now you start at that left foot. Draw a circle. And then we take it the other way. Put it down heel first. Wiggle all the toes. And the big toe. One toe at a time. Working it all the way to the pinky toe. And again, this is about building that relationship. Shift the weight of the foot. So it may not all move today. In the other direction. And put it down on that heel. Wiggle the toes. One toe at a time. All the way down to that pinky toe. Put that foot down. Get your feet straight and parallel shoulders width. Let's work that shoulder. Excellent. Take it to the front. Then we go to the other shoulder. And take it to the front. And we'll start with that left hand.
and change direction. Look at the fingers, one at a time. Change hands. Change direction. Move your fingers. One at a time. Drop the hand. We're going to start with the head, left to right. And once left side, we're going to take the chin looking over that left shoulder, up and down. Looking over your right shoulder. I'm going to chin up and down again. Front and center. Chin up and down. And around in a circle. Slowly and gently. All right, and next in breath, go the opposite direction. And on your next in breath, bring it right back to front and center. All right, shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. All right, so we'll go from feet parallel, shoulders width, and the Wu Chi. Pyramid hands. And step into a soft stance position. Open the hands, 12 breaths.
Pivot hands. Shift the weight to the right and slide the left foot into Uchi position. Let the hands shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. All right, feet parallel, shoulders width. We're gonna go into the cow position. Two breaths. Palms facing forward, two breaths. Shift and pivot into the duo position. Stepping back, give it, and then a swing in arms. And let them swing till they stop on their own. Excellent. Excellent. So now we're going to do our rotating. Down the front of the body. Tapping the kidneys in the back, each side. And then back up the body. And then we let it go. Get in the feet parallel, shoulders width. We'll take this right hand, put it on top of the left hand. When we're going to wave hands like clouds, just shift the weight, rotate the hands, and come back. Think of page with the breath. And we come right back to center. Sun rises over the mountain and sunsets. And we shake it out. Let me slide over. I'm sliding over. So I have a little room. We're going to start from feet parallel, shoulders width. We're going to start with the lunar form. 
Then we're going to do the short form. Then we're going to get into simple kneeling and all. Breathing exercise, so we'll get it moving. So right now we're going to sink down in the, the lunar section of the short form. So here we go. Stick with me. It's here. Y'all know this. Just the lunar cycle. And because we're headed into the solstice, what I'll do is I'll show the solar cycle, which is just going to single width. So that's the lunar cycle. So again, I want you to remember that the cosmos and the way in which our form is ordered are interconnected. So if we start like we do all the time, the sun rises over the mountain, this is the daily cycle. Right. And so as you move from day to day, you get to a week, a deacon. So you start to move through the month. So you have the sun and the moon as they interact, that creates our month. So we start moving through the month, going through changes. And then we begin to directly illustrate the changes of the moon. And as we go through the changes of the moon, we also want to acknowledge the changes that the sun goes through right here, the changes of the sun into single whip, where we have the solstice and the equinox, which are 180 degrees from each other. And we're now 180 degrees from where we started. Okay, back, check it out. And so that's the solar or the solar portion dealing with the solstice and equinox. And we do that together four times a year. Now we're going to get to our short form because we were devoting part of this part of the year to clarifying and getting it clear for everyone so that as we move forward, we have a little bit more understanding of why our form, our yang form, may look slightly different from some other versions of the yang form that you may see. So here we go, second down, short form. All right, excellent. Now that we got that in, we're going to kneel. And remember, toes, heels, knees together. Toes, heels, knees together.
All right, excellent. Remember this way, what do we do? We curl, toes under. And we come up. All right, and from here, get that body ready. Cross those feet, get the body level. Bring it slightly forward. And we're gonna knock these out, five. Here we go. All right. Come on back. Get the little baby stretch. Child pose. Get in the crisscross apple sauce. Excellent. All right, we're going to do our alternate nostril breathing. I'm going to get in my half sashimi, half lotus, and treat you to do the same. Get to where your body is comfortable, simple, half, or full. And again, we don't call it easy lotus, we call it simple because for many of us, this may be our first time. In a long time getting into crisscross applesauce. So we want to remind you is that you know how to do the movements, how the body's supposed to be. That's what we call simple. We know that it requires some work, so we say that it's simple. When it's easy, anybody can do it. When you know it's going to require some work, we call it simple, not easy. And most of the things that we teach here, that we offer you, are simple, not easy. We have some cute little fun sayings like that that we bring around. Hopefully you'll enjoy them and get a little chuckle with us. So what I'd like you to do is take your right palm up, thumb and index finger touching, and we're going to get into the alternate nostril breathing. You're going to take your left thumb, block off the left nostril, middle and index finger in the center of the forehead. The hand looks like this. Ring finger and pinky finger bent down, sitting tall, breathing in. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Five breath. Deep breath in. And release. Switch your hands, my breath. Breathe again. Out. And out. And out. Fire breath.
Keep breath in. Release. Both hands, palms up, thumb and index finger touching. Breathing in. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Five breath. Deep breath in. Chin down. Release. Palms down on top of the knees, breathing in. And out. In. And out. In. And out. So, depending on where you're at, you can stay where you are. I'm going to switch up. Let's have this wonderful concrete floor. As we get into our wisdom from the sages of the ages. I got to move a little bit because... It's brisk here. I have to say that. If I'm not cold, it's brisk. However, if you're here, you might call it cold if this is your home. I, on the other hand, am grateful to have traveled a little bit, had a little Qigong and those sorts of things so that I know how to breathe. So that means that as long as it's not windy or rainy, for me, I can manage the temperatures. All right, so here we go with our essence of Tai Chi Chuan, the literary tradition. Clear the mind. And get to our wisdom from the sages of the ages. This comes from expositions of insights into the practice of the 13 postures. It is said first in the mind, then in the body. The abdomen relaxes, then the breath sinks into the bones. The spirit is relaxed and the body calm. It is always in the mind. Being able to breathe properly leads to agility. The softest will then become the strongest. Okay. Teachings of Patahatep. If you are a person who judges, listen carefully to the speech of one who pleads. Don't stop the person from telling you everything that they had planned to tell you. A person in distress wants to pour out their heart even more than they want their case to be won. If you are one who stops a person who is pleading, they will say, why do they reject my plea? Of course, not all that one pleads for can be granted, but a good hearing soothes the heart. The means for getting a true and clear explanation is to listen with kindness. Then from the Tao Te Ching, the guiding light of Lao Tzu. Gravity as a virtue. Heaviness is the root of lightness. Quiescence is the master of hastiness. Thus, the sage traveling all day will not stay away from his loaded cart. Though glorious prospects are in view, the sage remains serene in a transcendental atmosphere. For what reason should it be that a weighty person like the Lord of 10,000 chariots would consider himself lighter than worldly vanities? In making light of themselves, 
they lose their ministers. And being hasty, they lose their kingly command. All right. So thank you all. It's our wisdom from the sages of the ages. It was a wondrous time. Get out. and Hopefully where you are, there's not so much light pollution. But you can actually see some of the planets and the stars above you. Right as the sun is setting, because we're in this new moon phase, you can see Jupiter in the sky as the sun is setting. You should also be able to see a little bit of Saturn, perhaps Mars, depending on your location. What I'm offering you is that not only do we move in concert with the cosmos through the Tai Chi Chuan, but that we have an opportunity to witness and have the awe of the universe be returned to us when we just look at the sky and see what we're meant to see. Spend some time with young people or the little people in your family. See if they can begin to remember what planets and stars are up there. You'll be surprised. They'll find it fond in how they get to do it. Thank you for taking the time to share with us today. Glad you're here. Even more grateful at your presence and the gift that it represents. Shall we bow out? To all the African, Indian, Asian, Chinese, Native American, and Pacific Islander masters that have gone before us, we bow. Teacher to student, student to teacher. Ashe. Respect to the ancestors and Paying homage to our eternal witnesses of earth and sky. I bid you a tep, peace. Ank uja sned, life, health, and strength. Herun affair, good day. Atapu, amen re ne sut ne chair, aten re neb en ank. I am sabah in pu kamut, em ne chair, shemsu, amen re. Atapu.